Okay, Doc Design students, we have a flyer in Word 2007. The student has put some graphical objects inside text boxes to place them. This is my recommended method for uh, this kind of layout because pictures inserted directly into Word docs can be so difficult to control. They tend to move around and not stay put. By inserting them inside a text box, uh, you gain greater control over them in my experience. However, the downside is that it then becomes difficult to select the outer text box to be able to tweak the placement. For instance, here we have a logo that's covering up the top border. The top black line is uh, being overprinted with blue from the text box around this object. All right. If you try to click around the object looking for that text box, it can get really frustrating. So here's a better way. Just select the object, take your hand off the mouse, and press the down arrow key. Uh, that selects the object around the graphic, which is your text box. Uh, but in this mode, you still have to do another click. So you roll your cursor over that uh, dotted white line, you do a left click, the lines disappear, uh, the handle objects around the text box remain, and in this state, you can then use the arrow key to move it down or to the right or to the left, whatever you want. In this case, one click down does the trick. All right, now, the other object that's giving us a problem here is we have smart art graphic title inside a text box. The text box is overlapping on the left, uh, but there's another dimension to the problem. The text box has a shadow on it, and that shadow is probably what's making the text box too big for the space. So again, I click the graphic object, I click the down arrow key to get the outline of the text box around the graphic object. I, right, I left click this to get the handles to show, and now I go up to my text box tools, and I go to the shadow effects, shadow effects, down arrow key, say no shadow effect. All right, that takes off the uh, the shadow and now I have a hope once I click the text box again and in movement mode if I just give it a little right arrow click let's see if okay that's not quite enough I need to go a little bit more I could do this with the numbers up there in the text box tools uh, but that can be more frustrating than just doing it visually uh, this way alright so I've corrected that problem uh, another little spacing error I see we need uh, less space here so I just take out an empty paragraph um, the student also asked how to get rid of the second page this often happens in Word you end up with a second page you don't want if you turn on the uh, the show hide button you can see the paragraph mark that, that if you could get rid of it you could get rid of that second page but uh, you can select and delete that all day it's not going to move uh, it's just one of the uh, broken as designed features of Word 2007. Um, the information on page one is filling it up and has already created a command for page two. So the only way to get rid of that is for me to adjust page one. Uh, and I don't want to do that because I know that once I start fooling around with uh, page one, um, because I've got a page border on it and other objects, it's really not worth worrying about. either don't send this to the printer, uh, i.e. just tell the printer to print page one, or if you create a PDF, you get a PDF editing program and you delete the second page. Uh, it's better to work around this problem, in my experience, than uh, trying to figure out how to get rid of that second page. Sometimes you can do a little move, just select uh, a line and delete it on page one and everything's fine. But in this case we've got layers of objects, including a page border, uh, and if you try to manipulate those to get rid of page two, you're just creating more work for yourself uh, that uh, could be frustrating. Okay, so I hope this helps.